They are Multnomah County opened three daytime cooling centers along with libraries in the mall for people escaping the heat today. Clackamas County has two overnight shelters open and many cooling centers and in Washington County, a couple of overnight shelters are now open in Beaverton in Hillsboro. We actually have a lot of locations that we're sort of setting up uh, some as cooling centers, but also just places that people normally go. Dozens of volunteers across the Portland metro area are welcoming hundreds of people looking for an air conditioned place to avoid the heat. Three Multnomah County daytime cooling centers are stocked with water and snacks. Two are in Gresham, the other in Old Town. These are coupled with libraries and the Lloyd Center open to people looking for shelter. If the forecast stays the way that it is, though, I wouldn't be surprised to see this be more than a one day event. Voss says Multnomah County usually relies on the National Weather Service heat index to determine if cooling shelters are needed. He says weather conditions didn't meet the usual criteria to open centers this weekend, but the county decided to open them anyway. One reason was because of the lengthy extreme heat expected. The first day event is not as risky as the third, fourth, fifth, because heat really just has a compounding um, uh, concern that we've got to deal with. As of Sunday afternoon, no overnight centers were open in Multnomah County. In Washington County, two overnight shelters opened Sunday morning. So it's important for folks to stay inside with air conditioning, drink lots of water. Root says county employees are surveying areas where homeless people are known to congregate to alert them of the shelters. She expects the county will serve dozens of people over the next few days. We have never hit capacity. We've served probably 100 people. Um, so if we did hit a point where we truly were at capacity at both locations, uh, we would hotel people. Now, for people in need of transportation to those centers, TriMed is offering free rides to people going to the cooling shelters. People can also call 211 if they're in need of transportation.